Welcome back to this series. The first video we did was exploring the Giga the Sorcerer's Law. So I thought, let's make this into a series of the big theropods. So I put a poll up to either do the Indominus Rex Law or the Spinosaurus Law. And most voted the Indominus Rex. So here we are exploring the Indominus Rex's Law. The Indominus Rex. Hybrid of Tyrannosaurus Rex, Velociraptor, Carnotaurus, Giganotosaurus, Majungasaurus, Rugops, Theratinosaurus, Dionysuchus, and other species. Engine's chief scientist, Dr. Henry Wu, was fascinated with the possibility to create entirely new species by gene mixing. Ever since he, he learned the inclusion of frog DNA has given these dinosaurs the, the ability to switch gender on the May 21st, 1997. He created a hybrid plant. On April the 5th, 2009, he created the Scorpius Rex. Years after the open of Jurassic World's success, it was lower in 2011, unlike the previous years of its operation, Simon Masrani attended their meeting on the April 4th, 2012, in which the board of his company unanimously desired a new attraction for Jurassic World to satisfy investors. After he had gotten out the meeting, Simon emailed Dr. Henry Wu his approval to create new species. The result was genetically modified hybrid of several dinosaurs and modern animals. Developed of the hybrid began in 2012 in the Hammond Creation Lab. Sometime after the board meeting, unknown to Mars Rani, was the Dr. Henry Wu, the creator of the hybrid, had made a deal with InGen. Security Division Commander Vic Hoskins to weaponize it in a grand scheme to have dinosaurs be used in military operations and kept many of the creatures used in its creation a secret. Upon some Motorani's announcement of the creation of the genetically modified hybrid now named the Indominus Rex, online ticket sales for Jurassic World skyrocketed. Consult Owen Gray to the see if he was interested, taking a job requiring him to upset the paddock for any vulnerabilities. After seeing her attempt of breaking the glass in the observation deck. Two Irexes were meant to be kept in their own paddock that had walls with a height of 12 meters 40 feet. This was also planned in case one of them died however the older Indominus cannibalismed her own sibling and would also attack the workers of the paddock as well. Three weeks before the paddock was open to this public Samus Morani visited the paddock. He had not been able to do so for many months due to him being needed for several meetings and events. At the time of his visit, the lone Indominus was not fully grown and was only 12.2 meters, 40 feet. Simon told Claire Deering, the Indominus managed to avoid her temperature being picked up by the thermal cameras thanks to the frog DNA in her species and left claw marks on the walls to make them think she was able to climb over the enclosure's wall. When Owen Grady, paddock supervisor Nicholas Letting and worker Nick Kilgore come into the investigate and damage the paddock, the hybrid ambushed them as soon as they got, got word that she was still in the paddock, making a quick meal out of the Kilgore in the process as they fled. She managed to break through the door as it was not fully shut, free at last the Irex. Managed to detect and eat letting, but Owen invaded her by hiding under a nearby crane outside of the paddock and then cut the crane's fuel tank, masking his scent. The Dominus Rex then headed off toward the Jurassic World Park, attracted by the thermal signatures of the visitors there. The Indominus Rex then came across the group of campers from Camp Cretaceous after killing a Brachiosaurus and two employees. Trying to warn them, the Indominus tried to get Darius, Brooklyn, Ben, Kenji, Sammy, and Yasmina by tearing down the observation deck. However, the campus managed to include by using a zipline to escape. It then tore apart their camp ground before coming across a caged Carnotaurus named Toro and used its great strength to tear down the fence 
setting him free. Her escape was not reported to Jurassic World visitors because the Nasrani thought the asset containment unit would capture her by following her tracker and plan. The Irex travelled south of the paddock, having detected the thermal signatures of the visitor in the main street. She managed to claw out her tracker along with some flesh, still attached to it, and ambushed the team as soon as they arrived, killing most of the troopers including Katachi, Hamada and Craig, and other members of the team, convincing Owen that the Iron needed to evacuate. Owen proceeded to tell the others to use live ammunition against this hybrid, but Claire refused, saying she didn't want to turn the park into a war zone. Angered Owen left the control room, stating Masrani that he wanted to talk with the scientists that created the Indominus, saying it is no dinosaur. Claire made a decision to close every attraction north of the resort. The Indominus might have been responsible for opening the Gyrosphere Valley fences to the restricted area of Isla Nubla. She then found the brothers, Zack and Grey, who were observing four ankylosauruses in the island's restricted area. After travelling through the opened gate and attacked the two in her attack, one of the ankylosauruses proceeded to fight back against her, mainly to protect a young ankylosaurus, though her counterattack ended up with her being killed by the Indominus via rolling her back and breaking her neck. She resumed attacking the two brothers by piercing her mid talon into the glass and rotated the vehicle so the boys could see their demise. She then attempted to chop the gyrosphere whole. Her mouth stuck. She attempted to smash it several times into her ground to crack it open. But the two brothers escaped by getting out of the damaged gyrosphere and jumping up a waterfall. She gave out a loud roar in disappointment and headed in the gyrosphere valley. The Indominus soon encountered the kids from Camp Cretaceous again, along with Bumpy, the young Ankylosaurus that the adult died defending. Found an abandoned ACU van. Because he had a learner's permit, Kenji was able to drive it. The kids barely escaped from the pursuing hybrid by driving off a cliff and down a steep incline, seeking refuge in a private lab operated by Dr. Wu assistant, Eddie, who was hiding in the lab and stole the van and abandoned the children. Only he waylaid by the Indominus who knocked the van off the road and killed him. After this, the kids found a second van parked nearby and was able to escape in the despite of the Indominus Rex chasing them. Shortly afterwards, the Indominus attacked a herd of Apatosauruses, killing six, injuring one before moving on to the restricted area of Isla Nubla, leaving their bodies uneaten while in the restricted area, the Irex discovered Owen and Claire inside the visitor center, to which she took the opportunity to attack and chase them. After pretending not to notice them and breaking through the ceiling, however, her pursuit of the humans ended when she saw the JW-001 piloted by Masrani outfitted with a heavy machine gun in pursuit of her. She led to her pursuer to the Jurassic World Avery, where she smashed through the enclosure's wall and scared the pterosaurs. Inside out the Avery to open hole the created. This was witnessed from far by Claire Deering and Owen Grady as well as the Camp Cretaceous kids who crashed the second van into a boulder as she three pterosaurs led to the destruction of the J-1 and attacked the guests in Main Street. The Dominus travelled further into the restricted area of the island. That night, in the restricted area, the members of the Jurassic World Velociraptor the pack found However, when she began communicating with the raptors, Owen realised and remarked that the Indominus was part raptor. She became the alpha of the pack as the leader of the pack. She commanded the raptors that were under her. She made them control to attack the humans that came with them and were in the area, to which they followed this order. Upon the initiation of this order, the Indian security troopers, Owen and Barry, who were following the Velociraptors, opened fire of the hybrid. She managed to escape the brawl that in ensued as the small arms 
fire had little to no effect on her, but she did nearly collapse on the ground when she was hit by a rocket from the troopers while escaping. Indominus Rex finally arrived on the main street where she met Owen, Claire and Mitchell brothers and three remaining raptors once again. Commanding the raptors to finish them off, Owen successfully attempts to regain Blue's trust by removing her camera. Only seconds before the hybrid's arrival, Blue once again regards Owen as her alpha. Blue screeches at the Indominus Rex shortly before it responded by knocking her into a wall, seemingly killing her. The raptors now alive with Owen's group again, proceeded to jump on the attack, the Indominus while Owen provided extra fire, infected fire with his rifle, but the fight ends fairly quickly after the Indominus easily kills Delta by tossing her into a grill, incinerating her, and scratches and throws Echo away. With the Raptors defeated, Indominus Rex then proceeded to assume hunting Owen and the Mitchell brothers, who were hundled inside the Jurassic World Traders Outpost. One of the main street's shops, the nearly dragged Grey to her, but was stopped when Claire threw a flare at her. Pension to another dinosaur who challenged her, Jurassic World's Tyrannosaurus Rex. The T-Rex carried out a heavy assault on the Indominus, and the two dinosaurs engaged in a ferocious battle. Though the T-Rex initially dominated the fight, she was eventually brought on the ground by the hybrid strength, destroying the Jurassic World traders outpost and almost killing Owen, Grady, Grey and Zack. Indominus also delivered the killing blow before she was attacked by Blue, who was still alive from the outslaught. This allowed the tyrant to return to her feet and grab the Irex by the neck, pushing her into many of the main streets building, all while Blue assisted the Tyrannosaurus. Finally, she was flung to the edge of the Jurassic World Lagoon. The attacks from both T-Rex and Blue were so heavy that it caused the hybrid to actually bleed. And pieces of metal were sticking in the left side of her torso. The Irex got back up from the ground however, still ready to fight the theropods once more. While she let out a roar, the lagoon's resident, the Mosasaurus, detected the hybrid and proceeded to emerge out of the water to pull the Irex under the water to her death. And there we are guys, the Indominus Rex's law. Oof, that was a long one, my voice hurts. But I'll see you guys in the next law video and it'll be most likely about the Spinosaurus. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.